Okay, what are we gonna do on this one, Dennis? So Bob, we're gonna try and do one of these little tippy tops. That a little tippy one that you spin and then it turns over automatically. Yep, okay, I've and seen that a, before. Yeah. So I, I find for a tippy top, you wanna to make it at least one and a half inches long, right? So demarcate one and a half inches down there. I'll just switch the lathe on. So mark your one and a half inches there. Then mark your middle, which will be three quarters of an inch and then mark a half inch down from this side. So those are the key dimensions. Let's switch off the lathe. So I know that my top is one and a half inches this way, it's one and a half inches this way, right? And these are critical dimensions. Um, I think so. Yeah, because of the uh, the weight has to be perfect yeah. for it to turn over. That's correct. So I guess both the weight and the size. That's correct. Okay. So then I just use my um, roughing out gouge to do a planing cut. The first half inch is going to be the stem of the top. Got my tool loose ever so slightly. Now I believe the top of the tippy top has to be square. It mustn't be a point, otherwise it's not going to rip, it's not going to flip itself over. What I do is I make a square top to it. Then this little edge just needs to be chamfered, this top one. So that when the top turns, it grips on that little edge and flips itself over. Ever so slight chamfer to that corner. All right. Then I've made myself a scrape. Let's see the tool you're using. I made myself a scraper. It's almost just a square scraper, but with a slightly rounded tip to the top. An old screwdriver? Um, no, it was an old uh, quarter inch bowl gouge, I think, that was worn out. Okay. And now I'm going to introduce it at a slightly downward angle and hollow it out. And you see I've marked about a half inch mark on the tool there. And when I shove it in, I'll know how deep I need to be. And if you don't take enough weight out of the top, it's not going to flip. And if you take too much out of the top, it also won't flip. So the depth is about a half inch that you're looking for? About a half inch. Making shavings. I love making shavings. And I made I made the mark on there so that I know roughly what depth I need to go. So I'm at about a quarter of an inch. See how deep we are. A little bit deeper. And I think that's about the depth we need. A little bit deeper. There we go. That should be good. Now all you've got to do is round over the top and make it nice like a ball. Like that? Yeah, like a ball shape. All right. I'll show you how to do that. This only needs a half... This only needs half the ball. Half the what? Half the ball, right? Oh, the like ball, a golf the ball. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's essentially if you extend this radius that I'm cutting here 
of the ball. It would intersect with there, right? Yep. Can you see? So that's the ball shape. If that radius continued, it would hit the top of the tip. The top of the, the top of the top. You want to leave a little bit of wood there so that you can just sand. I'm going to cut this profile slightly more here. Some delicate work here. Yeah, I'm just going to get some sandpaper. Just a wee bit of sanding. So now I move to my slightly smaller uh, spindle gouge. It's about a quarter inch spindle gouge. And I'm just getting in there to make sure that that hasn't got a little nib on it, a little tip on it. You want a perfectly round smooth, right? Yeah. And I'm going to cut it to about an eighth of an inch. And then I'm just going to get some colors and we'll color it so the kids can see a nice color. You see I moved to that, what I call that Chalice to run sheer scraping cuts. I'm getting those beautiful little blonde hairs. And love Chalice Cherise. Oh, she's lovely. But any blonde lady, Marilyn Monroe, whoever is your, one of your idols. Okay, stop there. I'm just going to use this Tombow pen to color that inside a little bit. And then we'll use a little bit of yellow, a little bit of black, just to add some color so when the kids spin the top it's got some interest. Red. And a little black. Oh, that's a big fat boy. <laughs> Sharpie Magnum. I haven't seen one of them before. That's good. <laughs> the coloring's the fun part. Oh, it is. color the bottom too much yet because you're going to have to do a little bit of hand sanding on that section to get it to um, make sure it's nice and round. Okay, so there we're all sanded. Now we take the lathe speed up. Carnuba wax. Carnuba wax. What about carnuba wax? Mm -hmm. it's a beautiful shine coming through. And make sure that black color doesn't 
doesn't move, so you hold your cloth in one place. All we're doing is buffing it, and that really brings up the, yep. the wax finish. And our tippy top's almost finished. We just got to part it off at the bottom there. We use our small little spindle gouge to do that. Okay, there's some space there now. We can go in, follow the wall at the top. Yeah. Now you can see that's still got a decided tip on it. Yeah. So we need to just sand it off. We've got our artisan sanding pad in there and we can just use it as a orbital sander. There we go. That's what it's supposed to do. Another fantastic top by Dennis. Thanks, Dennis. Ta-da! <laughs> Thanks, Dennis.